it was New Zealand, England in, in Twickenham. I had a couple of phone calls asking me what I thought about the, uh, the comments that have been shouted at me. And what we really don't know, or I really don't know, is were they true rugby people or were they just people who came along to that game? 48 hours after the game, probably on, on the Monday, I think, we were aware that comments had been made. What was difficult people talking about in when you know everybody in the world then knows you're, you're gay and everything like that? So a sense of disappointment of, you know, here we go again. Even now, after all what I've been through, there are times where you just guess you down and guess you, guess you scared. I just felt sad. Somebody would have stooped so low. I decided then that I would write a letter, a personal letter to Nigel, that I care about it and the union cared about it and that he would always be welcome at Twickenham. Really touching, I sort of read the letter with a little tear in my eye really. Reading that letter gave me the impression that it really does mean something to him, he really does care. And I remember coming off the bus and walking into that crowd and one of them sat in the club. It was an unbelievable feeling, you know. Respect from 80 odd thousand people in the stadium. He was welcomed there as Nigel Owens, the referee.